What's going on, everybody? This is Asinos is coming at you with a Goddess of Victory Nikkei video, and today we are having a look at Scarlet's kit, and then we're going to be looking at her animations. As I took a brief look at this earlier, um, but now that I'm feeling a little bit more level-headed and calm, I'm going to actually go through it all. So, obviously she was going to be a burst 3. Co looks like Code Wind, which ugh, I'm kind of low on wind codes because, um, well... I've been trying to finish up my uh, my bunny girls, and they're both wind. I did Blanc first. Now I'm working on finishing up uh, Noir. So I'm screwed as far as building her, but I will eventually. Um, and just looking at it, she's already looking like she's going to be a contender for probably best DPS in the game. Go figure, right? That's how you make money. Predatory practices of constantly releasing broken freaking characters. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Oh, and I'm also going to be recording another video because, uh, courtesy of my friend, the 4T, the Broadway Cyan, I have these to open. He sent me these for my birthday slash Christmas. So these are Nikkei cards. Um, I'm going to guess they're gotcha based, obviously. So we'll see what cards we get. I'm hoping, um, hoping some of my favorites are in there, like Dala. But we'll see because I have no idea. Which ones are included? They, I got confused. They came from Asia. Anyway, let's let's break this down. So she gets at base nine, uh, nine ammo capacity. Reload time is on the slower end, of course. I think that's roughly the same as her current unit. I'm not mistaken. I know, I know, OG Scarlet definitely takes her sweet ass time reloading, and it's frustrating. And let's see, deals some damage of a percentage of her attack. Charge time is 0.3 seconds. Full charge damage, 150% of damage. Deals 200%. Alright, so now... Oh, so she does more damage when attacking a core. So she's another one who is probably going to get dissed by Pride Wind because for whatever reason, when units uh, need a core, they use that and they drop their rating. In my opinion, a little bit too much. Because the schoolgirls got done dirty by their ratings, in my opinion. I, I mean, I, they just, I, I get it. I love the bunnies myself, but admit when you got a bias, at least. Come on, come on. Uh, all right, so skill number one is a passive fleetly fading breakthrough. Activates when attacking with full charge. So I'm assuming that, that doesn't, it doesn't matter who activates it. So effect changes according to the number of attack times. Effect of each phase does not stack. And three times, so this is where I'm a little bit confused. Um, this wording. So when she strikes three times, it'll be enemy with lowest defense, and at and this, after six hits, she'll be at five hundred percent, and then at nine times, affects all enemies. This should be at seven hundred fifty percent. Now my question is, does this stack? Like, is this a stacking number? Because that would mean that she's clocking fifteen hundred percent of extra attack, which would be nutty. So I'm going to assume. I mean, just the wording isn't clear on that. And I don't even know if there would be a proper way to test and see uh, without seeing the code and everything. So, uh, anyway, Fleetly Fading Asura, another passive. For skill 2, activates when entering full burst, affects self. Ammo capacity is up 60%. So, yeah, she clearly is going to be wanting as much ammo as possible because of her fairly long reload. And reload 100% of the magazine, so... Okay. Yeah, I believe I, if I'm understanding this correctly, full charge, the difference between full charge and full burst is full charge, anybody does their burst. Full burst is for herself. So it sounds like she's got a burst and then she gets, which is called fleetly fading strike, affects self, changes full charge, attack count required for skill one. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So it, takes it down to what is it I, I'm horrible with math a third of it what's originally required and a nice extra hundred percent 115 percent point twelve uh, for attack and then charge damage is a hundred and fifty point twelve percent for 10 seconds so yeah her kit is pretty pretty nutty 
definitely, definitely pretty freaking nutty. Anyway, so let's go ahead and have a look see at her animations. I have not looked at it yet. I have seen a little bit of her idle uh, stuff, and I think I saw a bit of her sh uh, attack stance, but I'm more interested in what the burst animation looks like. So let's go ahead. Thou should not get too close, lest by some mischance I hurt thee. Booty. Okay, hold up. So this looks more true to form. This is clearly angle. This is clearly angle and push-up bra. Which, I don't think people understand how boobs work. Because I saw a bunch of... Uh, I saw I did see a video where... I think it was in Pride Win. Where dude was commenting like, Holy mommy milkers. Which, of course, she's not small. But people forget that angles and push-up bras make things look a lot bigger. So... People really need to w learn the way bras and boobies work. It's embarrassing, really. Go. See that burst animation? I like the music. Okay. Hold up, let me see that again. That was fucking cool. Oh lord have mercy. That is a really cool burst animation. Very elegant, very sexy. Oh god, that makes me want her wallpaper now. Which I want it. Well, I wanted it already because it's Scarlet and Scarlet's awesome. Makes me curious how this story's gonna play out, but man, man, oh man, those animations. I tell you what, Shift Up really knows what they're doing when it comes with the animations, or comes to the animations, rather. I just really wish they would start, you know, ruining our boners and giving us sad and scary shit like that freaking Nero event. I played this game to coom, not to cry, goddammit. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Remember, for every like and subscribe that you do to my channels, and follows and all that good stuff, needy person's cheeks get clapped.